pizza. Good? Are you talking about her actions in trying to help the poor? Hundreds of thousands of uh, poor people that were saved in India and Calcutta thanks to her sacrificial work over 30 years. I don't know Mother Teresa like that, just, but can just we take go back what I just to said for, I feel like we've gone really off track. No, it's not. No, actually, we're, I, again, we're, 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 again, you're, you're, you're I talking about the most important hey, thing because. Hey, dude, you're interrupting me again. Well, it, it is kind of our table. So, Bro. Um, oh, so but, you can interrupt me, but yeah, I can't but, no, interrupt but, you. Hold on. The fact you can't answer this question shows that college is a scam. Because what? if uh, you can't say that. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here on a new video. Today, go and check it out. Get proofs exactly why college is a scam with awful take. Okay, let's get right into it. this video. This is by Charlie Kick. I call him Charlie Kick. So let's get right into it. I was hoping we could talk a little bit more about how you see college as a scam. Okay, I think we, we, we did that, but sure. So. Uh, if you want to talk about something else, we can talk about something else. I was just curious. Okay, um, what, what, would, what would you like to, to pinpoint on that? Yeah, well, I think a big part of your issue is that people are spending a lot of money and that you feel like they're not getting the equivalent of all the money that they go into debt or that they have to borrow to make it worth it. Um, well, in that case, I really, I think education is really awesome. I think it's really valuable. I think education's the only way that someone like you is able to write a book is because someone taught you how to read and write. And education on all levels is great, so that's not my... That one, I don't think that's your issue with college, right? Do, that do you know people, where I went to college? Um, I don't think that's important right now. Let me just... No. Uh, I, I didn't. I'm just talking to... I said read and write. Like, who taught you to read? No, no I agree. Hey, I, I, didn't, hey, I didn't say grade hey, school's man, a scam. Can we just keep going? All right. I can said we college just, is a scam, not grade school. Right. Keep going. So we're talking about the financial part, right? So do you think that college should be free then so that everybody can get like a free education? No. Why and by, not? by the way, what's happening in college is not an education. Well, okay. Um... I'm just, you don't think that college should be free because it's not an education? If it well, was, a, no. wait, wait, wait. If both, it was for, an for education both. in your eyes, would you think that should be free? or? Do you what just, do you mean by free? You mean paid by somebody else? Oh, well, sure. Our taxpayer dollars would go oh, to okay. pay so, for so, it. So, yeah. so, so paid by somebody else. Sure. Do, uh, sure. No, I don't believe that your schooling should be paid by somebody else. I want my taxes to go to schooling for everybody. I think education's great. I don't want my taxes to go to fund wars. I don't want my taxes to go to the military or the police budget, but I don't get you to You don't pick. want any military? I don't think that it should go to fund the military like that. I want my taxes. You don't want any police force? Um, I want my taxes to go towards education because I think education is valuable. Do you think that education okay. should be well, what paid is for? So define education. I'm curious. Sure. It's just the, uh, I would probably say that education right now is the ability to go out and, and learn different mindsets, to be introduced to different subjects, to have the opportunities to talk about these things with a lot of different kinds of people. I think that's the really cool part about college. Someone like you can come here and have different opinions. My history teacher just talked about how he's like, so you look at, he does this whole like, I'm a conservative, old school conservative act. And then one of my other teachers, she's like, I'm a bleeding hippie, you know? There's like a lot of opportunities to just be introduced to subjects you didn't even know were a thing. Like I didn't know that semiotics was a thing until my last ph philosophy class, and I think that's really interesting. So, just the idea that you get to go out to this place and you get to get taught about a bunch of different ideas. Do you are you against that being available for everyone? Oh, I have a completely different view of what education is. So, education in Latin means to lead forth. Okay. The, your idea of education is the new age, which is we're going to have like a buffet line of postmodern ideas and all ideas are treated the same. I don't believe that at all. College means partnership in Greek. And going back to education, you must lead forth towards something. And I think college should lead you towards the good, the true, and the beautiful. Okay. It should lead you towards things. You think it should lead towards beautiful things? Of like, course. Like beautiful things like you think that we should go out after college and be like where's the prettiest thing that's if your idea me? of beauty is just the aesthetic then you're not having a great college well, what's, experience what's your idea of beauty my bad that my which bad. is perfected in being okay so you really like the the greek ideas and like the roman ideas of like the the idea of perfection and perfect harmony because that's like a very greek and roman way of well approaching. it's western which is the civilization we currently live in okay but, that but let me finish from greek and roman it, of course ideologies. you're right so the good the true and the beautiful are the three things that every college student should grapple with 
do you think in this current university that is what you're currently grappling with that the focus of your education is enriching yourself to get closer to what is good what is true and beautiful see i don't engage with you on the ideas that good true and beautiful are something that can be defined and something well, that, that can be taught your perfect evidence of why i think college is a scam why do you s wait i don't because of course they could be defined and they should be sought after okay so you think that something like the beautiful the perfect like yes. something like goodness can be defined in quantifiable teachable t oh because you're christian i forgot you guys think yes. that there's like yes, a the, binary to well no goodness. There, there, there's a hierarchy not a binary oh, there's okay. an ultimate perfection the ultimate okay. perfection would be that there's a creator who loves you who okay. made you in his image and loved you so much to come down and take the broken flesh form live a perfect life die and rise from the dead mm -hmm. so that you might live forever there mm -hmm. is nothing more perfect good true or beautiful than that okay so i don't really engage with religion like that but what about just the idea that you get to go to a place you get taught about different subjects you get the opportunity okay i'm sorry because you don't you don't have access to all these things wherever you come from you get the opportunity to talk to people who know a lot about these different subjects and get to learn about that you don't think that uh, that no, should be free well, or like provided first of all for? i don't think it should be free and i don't think that's what education should be or what it once was when it was at its best what you do see, you think it was at its best because we have like the indian golden house of oh no I think it was called the okay. Baghdad Golden House of Wisdom. We have the Greek and Roman, and they had their whole thing about how you have to learn astrology at the same time as learning your education. Correct. We have like so many different points of learning and knowledge. I think people just love to learn. I think learning is inherent to what we want to do with our lives. So, so two thoughts. That is the first line of Aristotle's metaphysics, which is all people seek to know that something within us wants to learn. So to answer your question, when was education at its best? It no, was that was your, you were the one who was like, education is not at their I, best I, here. You're like, this is your new age bullshit. It, like, it, it is. So, but so let, when let, let was me, it good? I was about to say that and you interrupted me again, oh, okay? My, my bad, I'm all sorry. All right, so it was at its best when we had a thing called classical education here in America, specifically around the American founding. Classical education has a prioritization mm -hmm. on the Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle, and the core canon of Greek thinking, which is that there is an abstract distant good, the mm. logos, which mm. created the world, right? Mm -hmm. I wanna try to find out more about what that is. So you think that education should revolve around ethics then? You think it should be well, teaching people? Well, it's a people... big part of education, yes. I think that creating good people should be the number one priority of education. Okay. Do you guys think that creating good people is a priority at Cal State Fullerton? I don't think that that is really a thing that you can achieve like with a pointed, I don't think there's a way to really teach somebody being like being a good person is so hard and it involves it so I many different like though. factors i could prove to you I think how that we could do it we're getting a little bit too general no, no, with things because no, the greeks and the romans I'll they were really you. like they were they had a lot of beliefs okay plato and aristotle were not like let's do the most good they were not all in agreement about all these different things well, they no, had a lot well, of they, different they had, they had a teacher student relationship but let me ask you a question if do you think people would commit more crimes or less crimes if they knew that a police officer was watching them at all times. I don't think this is what Just, we're talking and, and, no, about. No, no, it's bro. no. You asked. You said you cannot teach people good. I'm asking a question. Mm -hmm. If somebody f thought that somebody was watching their actions, mm -hmm. would they behave differently? I think that people behave differently when yes. people watch Therefore, their actions. Yes. Therefore, if society thought that there was a god that was watching all of their actions, would they behave differently? Do you feel like you behave better when someone is watching Absolutely. your actions? Absolutely, and in fact, I, I... So you feel like you can't be good without someone there no, no, to observe it's not, it? No, it's not a matter of you can't be good, it's that you act better if you think that there is somebody watching and judging your actions. That feels this is really the unfortunate for you, because I want to do good because I think it's better for the people around me, not because someone's watching me. Hold That's on. That's like the ideas of the panopticon, Well, you know? hold on a second, but if you believe that somebody is always watching your behavior, You'd be mm -hmm. less likely to lie, less likely to steal, less likely to cheat. And this is a good question because mm. you're coming after this in good faith. Mm. Do you think human beings are generally naturally good or generally not so good? Are we, are, we, are we flawed from our birth or are we good or are we a blank slate? See, you're bringing up these Christian ideas of good again. I don't think we really come to the same synthesis on what a good person is. Okay, I feel like was Hitler good? Um, I feel like, again, you're not listening to me. I Pretty feel like we don't question. come to the same synthesis about well, no, what good will, is. Because for me, I think that something like good is, again, the question of 
ethics. It's not really a question of education, right? So you have but, to decide. Uh, but what super people, simple. It's what not people a trick decide question. for themselves is good is different, right? So Hitler but, thought what he was doing was good for his people. We do not see his actions as good because he was pretty awful to a lot of people. But when we turn things into an ethical question, he, he may see it as doing good for himself and God because, yes, a lot of people believe they're doing good for God, w even if that was, thing is was, killing people. Was Hitler doing something objectively wrong? Which thing are you talking about? You're talking the about the concentration genocide? camps. No, I don't like the concentration camps, believe it or not. But hold on, you don't like. So was that objectively bad? Objectively bad. I do think that hurting people is objectively okay, bad. Okay, so now we're believing in bad. So then good. There's a spectrum now. You said objectively bad. So you now just said there's a spectrum. It's not a matter of, well, somebody wanted to do some good for yourself. No, no, no. Now mm -hmm. there's a spectrum. Concentration mm -hmm. camp, ba bad. So mm -hmm. then let's like get away from that. How about Mother Teresa? Good? Are you talking about her actions and trying to help the poor? Hundreds of thousands of uh, poor people that were saved in India and Calcutta thanks to her sacrificial work over 30 years. I don't know Mother Teresa like that, just, but can we go back to it? For, I feel like we've gone really off track. No, it's not. No, actually, I, we're, we're, again, we're, 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 again, you're, you're, you're talking about the most important hey, thing because. Hey, dude, you're interrupting me again. Well, it, it is kind of our table. So, Bro. Um, oh, so but, you can interrupt me, but yeah, I can't but, no, interrupt but, you. Hold on. The fact you can't answer this question shows that college is a scam. Because what? if uh, you can't say that Mother Teresa good and Hitler Mother bad. Mother Teresa denied anesthetics to people who are in serious pain because she thought the suffering would bring them closer to God. I think a lot of what she did could be doubt considered. That to be true. Okay, okay, but, but I'll take whatever. It. We can't just reference random things and use that because right now we're talking about ideologies. Again, I find that what I consider to be good revolves more around the fact that humans are social creatures and generally pro-social attitudes of promoting uh, collectivism tends to be it tends to be better for people just because that's in our evolutionary nature. Is but it? you are a Christian, so you believe that there's a guy watching you, and that's what makes you do good. You're no, like, it's not. If someone's that, that, that watching a, me, I am more likely no. to be nice. But hold, I want to be there, nice because a lot of other, I like how other, other people reasons to do good. To I was nice. asking okay. the question that for would you be more or less likely to shoplift if a police officer was next to you in a department store? It's a very simple ethical question. But how does that make me good or not? That just makes it me makes worried about consequences. Good. No, it makes me worried about consequences. You little exactly. face man. If you do not have consequences. But Hold consequences does not determine the, ethics. The, the, it the just mark means of an intellectual fool is throwing around pejoratives when they don't have wisdom. Remember that. So let, fool. let, let fool so I. the question is this: If you do not believe there's a consequence to your action, why wouldn't you do the action? See, that's again the ideo ideology of consequentialism. I don't really subscribe yes, to that. Yes, th there I should think be that, consequences. No, but I think that consequences. Your actions can exist outside of a vacuum of consequences, right? We can't make our decisions based on whether or not we think the actions will will lead to a certain outcome because those will always be random, right? So I revolve more around we try to do things that we think will promote general pro-social attitudes. I think that that is more likely okay. to get us other than worrying let, about let me, that we will Let me ask you a hypothetical. Have, okay, I, I, this will tell me a lot. Is pedophilia wrong? Pedophilia, I consider to be wrong because it is actively damaging someone else, right? But what if they say they're a minor attracted person and it's pro-social to be with a young person? What, why are they wrong? Do you wrong? know what pro-social means? Like pro-social means, there's like pro-social and anti-social behaviors. It's like a theory of social um, psychology. Pro-social generally means like working together, uh, socialization, you No, know, they're socializing with, with an eight-year-old. Why is that wrong? Okay, that's not socializing and you know it. Anti-social behavior well, usually means doing things that are considered... Um, rejecting socialization, like rejecting other people, pushing things away, promoting uh, things that other people actively end up um, considering less. So then, should kind pedophiles go to prison? Uh, pedophiles go to. I do not know what's the best way to handle pedophilia because. No, because how do we know? I don't think that anyone should molest a child, God forbid. But hold on. I really Wh don't. Why, but why shouldn't a pedophile go to prison? What? That's... Again, we're getting really off topic. Let's go no, back to the ideas actually, of good no, and evil we're, we're and consequentialism. We're talking about college is a scam, and you're a perfect example, like one Aww, of the best thank you. I've ever seen thank to you. show 
the intellectual drivel that is caught on a college okay, campus. Okay, because you think that I'm not being taught about the good, the pure. Well, let's go back to that because I thought that the, was really interesting. Yeah, the good, the, the, true, good, the, the true. We'll do a couple more minutes. The good, the, the true, and the beautiful. Yes. Right. So you think that that's something that can be quantified, can be taught, and that it and experienced. And wait, and not only that, that it should be taught. That yes. we should promote the ideas of good and beauty to other people. Correct. Okay, but let's remove it from that. What about just the idea of because remember the ancient Greeks and Romans that you love so much, they didn't have the same ideas of God in the same way that we do, but That's they correct. still, thank you for saying I'm correct. That was really nice of you. Um, it's true. You're um, right. So when they wanted to learn, when they sought out learning, when they had schools of learning and all that kind of stuff, a lot of the times they didn't just teach things around ethics. They taught other stuff. They taught astrology. They taught medicine. They taught science. They taught arts. And people wanted to learn that. Do you think that that ability, that experience of going into a place and saying, can you teach me more about this subject? Can I learn? Can I expand my worldview? Can I get open to different beliefs? Do you think that that should not be paid for or not be compensated? First of all, it should definitely not be paid for. Secondly, mm -hmm. it depends if those disciplines are mm. rooted in the pursuit of truth, goodness, and beauty. So you think Let me only finish if once they're tied into something that well, falls in your hold, hold on, ideological hold on, it's worldview. Not my, can, I, can I finish? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. If those disciplines are finished, are are rooted in the good, the true, and the beautiful. Absolutely. Let me give you a hypothetical example. Okay. So if you go, I don't know if this school has one, but if they have some sort of center for like feminist ideology mm -hmm. or some sort of inter, do they have one here? Then th that is not in the pursuit of what is good, true, and beautiful. That is in the pursuit of how I can complain and hate men and get a degree and be paid for that. The lady right here, she's, she has an awful take. Because um, she was actually rude, I would say that, and she used some hurtful words. She used some hurtful words um, which should not be said. Number one, she felt like Charlie was deviating from her questions. Just don't want to answer her questions. I love what she said. Some aspect of it was actually true. Uh, some aspect was actually commendable. I, I won't lie. She's she's clever. She, she did her studies. And she has a very beautiful history background but at the same time she just did not point her question properly she just did not phrase it in the right direction and charlie just wanted to bring out examples to give her pure teachings of why college is at her scam school is not imparting you the right way to change you number one if you are not being different from who you were when you come to school you're not trying getting something out from school um if you are not going to have great impact in the world in one way or another, then the school is not giving great impact. You're not, you're, then the school is actually a scam. So Charlie was actually trying to tell her that there are, there are good ways that the school ought to have, have standard, that they are not having such standard now. That people are going to school, spending thousands of dollars, and also entering into debt, whereas what they are investing in is not bringing out the same result out. A lot of people are coming out from college and broke, uh, not having a job, they're unemployed. It takes them time before they even get a job. But when they get a job, the job is not really, really payable like that. It's not enough for their um, expenses that they, that they inquire, that they have already. Also, it's not really enough to pay the debts that they also encounter while studying in college. So Charlie is trying to give her examples, give her um, she's actually throwing tantrums. I'll use the word tantrums like that. That's her. Uh, she, she's feeling like the tantrums is actually deviating her from the question she's asking. But Charlie did not point the answer directly to her to get, but it's giving her um, ideas for her to get the answer for herself. Because the question right there is why is school scam? And why do you feel like um, people are sp spending thousands of dollars and entering into debt and what they're entering is the scam? Well, Charlie is not answering her directly. Is those giving her instances so she'll get the answer herself. Because such question that the, the lady right here is asking, I watched a couple of Charlie um, interviews and debates. He have actually answered such questions several times. And he's just trying to give her a clearer view so she'll get what school, what college actually stand for. You understand? He just don't want to tell her that this is what is happening in college. After college, you had to have a job. And aside that, you have to pay the debt you have encountered. He wants to give her instances why, what college I try to stand for. It's not just about imparting, reading and 
knowing how to read and write is not something you learn from college. You learn before you enter into college. So what itself do you get from college that has impact in your life and you also impact the society in return? So that's what Charlie trying to pitch, put it in her mind so she really knew what college is all about. Her, her scenario, her, the way she sees college is different from what college really means. So Charlie trying to tell her that the way you see college, you won't, you won't get anything when you're done with school. You won't get any impact in your life when you're done with college. It's not like you, you do not learn something, but what you learn, you won't actually use it more outside of college. So that was exactly what Charlie was trying to put to her for her to understand, but she's not trying to get a clear picture. And at the same time, she was being rude by using some hurtful word to ask Charlie. And Charlie told her, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a graduate. I didn't, I didn't go to college. But at the same time, I'm really clever. I'm smart. I read. I educate myself. So this was actually a beautiful video to watch. I actually learned a lot from inside. And the entire congregation was actually in Charlie's favor. <laughs> they were actually in Charlie's favor. And Charlie bringing in Christianity into the aspect. Christianity plays a massive role in everything we do in the society. People just choose to ignore it. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up, share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore.